European perspective for the countries of the Western Balkans is very much alive and kicking in a positive sense. It's good that we are meeting and talking about the, about the process. And I like uh, the combination of the 10 years since the last enlargement because in my country, in Slovakia, we have been celebrating and commer commemorating a lot. And uh, we've also well, made some inventory about what it meant for my country. And this is what I'm going to tell our partners, how, how much it's improved the quality of life and the overall standing of my country. Uh, and it's also always a good opportunity to take stock of the progress achieved. We see that the, the region as such, as a whole, is moving forward, but the progress is uneven. So there are countries that really made... Montenegro, Serbia, for example, but there are countries who are still struggling. Bosnia, Herzegovina, but also Fyron. Will there going to be a new approach for Bosnia and Herzegovina? I don't think so, because, uh, you know, there is only as much as the European Union can do, but homework must and can, could be done at home only. And we do not see this homework in Bosnia-Herzegovina. So what the new approach would mean, that we do the homework for the Bosnian politicians? No, that's not possible. I mean, the, the, the division of labor is clear. EU has done its part and is ready to continue doing its part. But uh, we are waiting for our partners in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Thank you.